Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing a book tag for you, which is the last 10 books book tag, which was created by Mark Nash. So I'll be sure to leave his original video down below. This book tag just seems really fun and it's quite a new book tag as well. It's only been going around booktube for a month or two, I think. So I'm really excited to do it. I was tagged to do this video by my friend Jason over at Chapter and Verse. Jason is still quite a new booktuber. He's only been on booktube a couple of months, but you wouldn't know that he's only been on booktube for such a short amount of time. His videos are so genuine and he talks about books with such confidence and knowledge. And he's just a really nice man. So his videos are always a joy to watch and I put a lot of trust in his recommendations. So definitely go and check out Jason's channel if you haven't seen it before. He's really great and I'll leave his channel linked down below. Before we jump into the tag questions, I do just quickly want to say to those of you who said you would be interested in seeing me do a literary fiction discussion video that I mentioned the possibility of me doing a couple of videos ago. I do want to film that video and I am thinking about filming it and I'm really excited to film it. But at the moment, I'm just so busy with university. I'm in my final year of university at the moment, if you didn't know, and I'm coming towards the end and I'm very, very busy. <laughs> so over the next couple of months, I'll probably just be filming videos that are easier to prepare for because I really want to put some good time into the literary fiction discussion video and make it really interesting and worthwhile. So I'm just going to do that when I'm done with all this uni work. So I definitely do want to do it. Keep your eyes peeled for it, but it won't be happening in the next month or so. <laughs> so the first question in this tag is the last book that you didn't finish. So I actually don't tend to not finish books all that often. And that isn't because I don't believe in DNFing books. I totally do. If you're not enjoying a book, then life is definitely too short to keep reading it. There are probably thousands of other books out there that you would be enjoying. So I definitely would stop a book if I wasn't enjoying it. I don't know whether I don't stop books often because I just tend to like a lot of books. I think even if there's a book that I'm not really enjoying, there's usually something in it that I do enjoy. And that's what probably keeps me reading them. But also I'm just quite a fast reader, I think. So maybe that's another reason why I tend to persevere with books, even if I'm not enjoying them that much. So trying to find an answer for this question was quite difficult for me because I don't really remember a book that I didn't finish in the past year or so. But I do remember one a couple of years ago that I definitely didn't finish and this really sticks out in my memory. I don't know if it's the most recent book that I didn't finish, but it's the one that I remember. And that was The Enchanted by Rennie Denfeld. This book was incredibly popular a couple of years ago on booktube and that is where I first heard about it. And it just sounded like something that I would absolutely love. So it's literary fiction with a magical realism spin on it. And I believe it's actually set on death row, which as a few of you might know, I absolutely love when books include ethical discussions in them. I love an ethical dilemma. And so basically it just sounded like the perfect recipe for a book for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just couldn't get into this book. I found it just really slow and boring and I felt like nothing was happening. And maybe I just read it at the wrong time because I know that a lot of people really love this book. And so maybe I would love it if I picked it up now, but I really did try with it and I just couldn't get into it. And so I DNF'd it. <laughs> Question two is the last book you reread. That would be The Twits by Roald Dahl. As you probably know, if you've watched a few of my videos, I've set myself the mini goal this year of rereading all of Roald Dahl's children's books because I read them all when I was younger and absolutely loved them and thought it was about time that I revisited them. So I've read a couple of them so far this year, the last one being The Twits, and it was an utter joy. <laughs> Question three is the last book you bought. The last book that I bought was A Boy in Winter by Rachel Seifert. And I bought this one because it is on the long list of the Women's Prize for Fiction this year. Actually, the short list will have been announced by the time this video goes up. So it may or may not be on the short list for the prize this year as well. <laughs> I don't really know much about the plot of this novel other than it is set in World War II in a small Ukrainian village. And that's all I need to know, basically. I'm excited to read it. 
and I'm especially excited to read it because I'm actually doing a buddy read of it starting tomorrow with two of my friends, Renee from Renee Pierre and Laura from Paperback Winter. So that should be a lot of fun. Question four is the last book you said you read but didn't. Honestly, I don't really have a problem with saying if I haven't read a book. I don't think there's anything to be ashamed about if you haven't gotten around to reading a book yet or if you just don't want to read a book, I think that's completely fine. <laughs> So I don't think I've actually ever said I've read a book when I haven't, at least to my knowledge. <laughs> Question five is the last book that you wrote in the margins of. I don't usually write in the margins of my books other than university books, but occasionally I do in poetry books if the poems are particularly striking me and I feel like I have a lot of thoughts bouncing around about them. And the last one I think that I wrote in was The World's Wife by Carol Ann Duffy. This is a brilliant poetry book in which Carol Ann Duffy retells a lot of famous stories and myths from throughout the years, but she retells them from the point of view of the female partner of the male figures in history who are so well known. I remember that I wrote in the margins of the very first poem in this collection, which is Little Red Cap, which tells the story of Little Red Riding Hood. And this is one that I particularly enjoyed. I really, really love this poem. Caroline Duffy is just a brilliant poet and all of her writing is really rich and feminist and it's just so satisfying to read. So I'd highly recommend this collection if you haven't read it before. Question six is the last book you had signed. So I don't actually have my signed copy of this book here with me because it's still on its way to me from Australia. And so I'm just gonna hold up my copy of the book that is unsigned. And that book is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. As you all probably know by now, I absolutely love this book. It is a short literary fiction book that looks at life and love and loss and friendship in the most wonderful, tender and perceptive way. It's just a perfect little book. So René from René Pierre recently went to a writer's festival in his hometown Adelaide in Australia, where Sarah Winman was attending. And while he was there, he got a couple of signed copies of Tin Man and he gave one of them away in a giveaway on his channel. And I entered to win it because I absolutely love this book and I would love to own a signed copy of it because I think Sarah Winman is so brilliant. And I actually did win it, which I am so excited about. I am so happy to have won it and I can't wait for it to arrive. So thank you very much, Rene, for holding that giveaway. <laughs> If you don't already know who René is, by the way, he is also a relatively new booktuber who is just so brilliant. He's one of the nicest guys you will ever meet here on booktube and his channel is just so great to watch. He's actually one of my best booktube friends <laughs> and so I will definitely leave his channel linked down below so you can all go and check him out. So yes, Tin Man is the last book that I got signed, even though I don't own it yet and even though it wasn't technically signed for me. <laughs> Question seven is the last book that you lost. So I think that the last book that I lost was The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. This is a historical fiction novel set in World War II that heavily focuses on romance. And I must have read it about three or four years ago now. But I do remember when I was back at home a year or so ago and I was sorting out my bookshelves, I just realized that this book wasn't there and I have no idea where it's gone. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not that bothered that I don't have this book anymore. I really enjoyed it while I read it, but since then I've come to think that maybe the main romantic relationship in the novel is quite problematic and I just have no urge to reread it. So it's lost and it's gone. <laughs> Question eight is the last book that you had to replace. So that would be Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elias Sayens. This is my all-time favourite young adult book. It's a beautiful book about two teenage boys and it looks at self-discovery and sexual identity and cultural identity as well. So there was some kind of confusion surrounding where my copy of this book got to. I'm pretty sure at one point I had a copy of the book and my boyfriend, who also loves the book, gave a copy to his mum but then he thought he had a copy of the book and somehow I ended up not having a copy on my shelves. I don't really know what happened, but I went out and bought myself another copy because it was pretty cheap online and it's amazing. 
so I had to. <laughs> Question nine is the last book that you had an argument over. So I wouldn't say argument but I would say disagreement <laughs> and that was Dune by Frank Herbert. This is one of my boyfriend's favourite books and he seemed to think that my 3.5 star rating was a bit harsh. And finally, question 10 is the last book that you couldn't get hold of. I think my answer for this question is Amina's Voice by Henna Khan. This is a children's fiction novel that focuses on a young American Pakistani girl. And I'd been wanting to get my hands on this novel for months and months. Every time I went into a bookshop, I looked for it, but they never had it. Even in Big Waterstones, they just never had it. So I actually have this copy now because my boyfriend kindly bought me it as an Easter treat. And because we couldn't find it in any bookshops, he bought me it online. <laughs> By the way, if you are interested in this novel at all, I recently read it and it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> so those are all my answers to this tag. This was a really fun tag to do. I really enjoy filming this video. I think the questions are particularly good and allow a really good insight into different areas of people's reading. So I think what I'm going to do is tag a bunch of people to do this who I've never tagged before because I could always tag the same people who I'm closest to here on booktube, you know who you are, <laughs> but I've already tagged them a bunch of times so I thought it'd be fun to tag some different people. I'm going to tag a whole bunch of people to do this video if they want to because this tag is still so new I'm assuming not that many people have done it yet and all the people I'm tagging I think are absolutely amazing and I love watching their channels and they'll all be linked down below. So I have a list and the people I tag are Laurie from Laurie Dawson, Dane from Dane Reads, Claire from Claire Reads Books, Cassie from Bookish Four Eyes, Jennifer from Insert Literary Pun Here, Simon from Savage Reads, Eric from Eric Carl Anderson, Brie from Bookish Brie, Rebecca from Rebecca Books and Holly from Holly the Book Lover. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really, really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. And hopefully I'll see you next week with my next video. Bye.